is my own personality dimension using the understanding myself. I've taken three personality dimensions and to some degree there's some error margin but they usually fall into these percentiles. So agreeableness, I'm moderately high. I'm, I'm on the 68th percentile. Percentile just means that if there were 100 people, I would be the 60, 68th most agreeable person out of all of them, right? So I'm somewhere in the middle, which makes sense. I grew up in New York, so I'm a little bit more straightforward, I would say, than some of the people that I'm around. But I'll, at the same time, it's hard for me to, you know, challenge a person sometimes. So I'm a little bit non-confrontational. Uh, so people who are higher in agreeableness or nurturing naively trusting so if you're really high on agreeableness you should probably take some sort of assertiveness training or you know meet someone who's disagreeable because <laughs> it's, it's really really important because i mean this is a very predatory culture sometimes you know people want to sell you stuff man people want to take advantage of you so you need to have some component of disagreeableness uh, so i fall somewhere in the middle so that's 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 a good place for this personality dimension <clears throat> and again these are broken up into sub facets so agreeableness is broken into compassion and <clears throat> compassion and politeness so I'm higher on compassion so people who, who are higher on compassion are concerned with the problems of others I'm a therapist that kind of makes sense right as to why I'm inclined to do this work right it's how we deal with our negative emotions right we make time to do kind things for others this is people will often turn to them for as as a listening ear. I mean, how many of my friends call me like, oh, you know, don't charge me, but I have a problem going on, right? It's what comes with being a psychologist sometimes. And interestingly, I am fifty uh, fifty second percentile on politeness, um, and this is really interesting because it has understanding myself is really cool because it has political orientations also. So those who are liberal score lower on politeness, right? As Whereas people who are higher in conservative conservatism uh, score higher in politeness, right? Because they're you know prim and proper, right? This is the way you should be. Don't don't curse, right? That's one thing about uh, very conservative people. They don't like that, you know, using vulgar language. They don't like vulgar TV shows, right? That's that's all politeness. Is this a conversation about how it's time for me to pack up and go home? No, don't have to go home. It's a big country. Just maybe don't be here. Are you familiar with the phrase manifest destiny? Yeah, but see, here's the thing. I own two pairs of shoes. A summer pair and one for winter. We're not meant to have more than we can handle. That's what I mean. So this need for conquest, you know. Trying to own things that aren't meant to be owned. Like people? That's an example. But also places. Believing we can tame things. That's a problem, right? Not a solution. You're saying capitalism is a problem? No. Greed. You can't see it because you're looking too hard. See, we can't leave because we're the future. Not the past. The past can no more become the future than the future can become the past. Okay. We said our piece. Just don't be offended next time if I don't say hello before I shoot. And we have conscientiousness, which is obligation, attention to detail, hard work, persistence, cleanliness, efficiency, and ad adherence to rules. And they've done personality research on CEOs and people who make lots of money, people who tend to go be on higher levels of what we call success here, tend to be much higher in conscientiousness, right? They get to the office at 6 o'clock, they're at the gym at 4 a.m. to make time for that, right? They have a very precise schedule, right? Um, I'm 49th percentile, which makes sense. People who are right smack dab in the middle of uh, conscientiousness, um, we're reliable, but at the same time, we have some proclivity to procrastinate. And here, it's one of the reasons why it's important to understand the personality dimensions with each other, right? I do my work, but I also have lots of different hobbies, right? Which I wouldn't call procrastination. Um, you know, for many people, watching a film 
is procrastination. For me, it isn't. It's one of the reasons why I created a YouTube channel where I speak about films, right? So if I was lower on openness, if I was lower on the openness dimension, then me watching films would be a waste of time. But because I'm higher on creativity, right? These procrastination efforts that I embark on, watching films, watching, you know, doing writing and stuff like that, I've adapted it into my own art, right? So again, it's important to understand these different things with each other. And then conscientiousness is broken down into industriousness and order, orderliness. And my line. Until you build more equity in your home or pay down the loan, there's nothing I can do. My business is booming. Unfortunately, that's immaterial. Wow, I've got 13 locations in nine states. It's a home equity loan. Then give me a business loan. These 13 locations, you own them? Me personally? It's your business, correct? You own it. I'm the head of franchising. I'm the one behind this growth. Well, that's all well and good, but you need assets. Have you been to a McDonald's? Because we've got three right here in the Chicago land area. You should come by and take a look. No, I would love to give you a tour, give you a better sense of what I'm talking about. If you're not making money hand over fist, something's terribly wrong. You don't seem to realize what business you're in. You're not in the burger business. You're in the real estate business. You don't build an empire off a 1.4% cut of a 15 cent hamburger. You build it by owning the land upon which that burger is cooked. This will provide you with two things. One, a steady upfront revenue stream. Money flows in before the first steak is in the ground. Two, greater capital for expansion, which in turn fuels further land acquisition, which in turn fuels further expansion, and so on, and so on. Control over the franchisee. Fail to uphold quality standards. You cancel their lease. Control over Dick and Mac. End result, you'll have the banks and the franchisees in the palm of your hand. And this makes sense, right? Highly industrious people tend to be successful in schools. Uh, they, we value work highly, and we typically want to do something useful. We're dutiful, and we tend not to put things off which makes sense people who are more inclined to get higher education which interestingly is much more women women are much higher uh, much more likely to get phds and higher education degrees than men are right and i'm one of the only few men in my uh, field in psychology so it makes sense that i would be higher on industriousness right um, and i'm low on orderliness which makes sense if you ask my mom she would say of course right uh, we are not disturbed by mess, disorder, and chaos, and we simply don't notice it. I'm higher. On, I would say I'm higher on spontaneousness, right? I'd like, whereas people who are much higher on conscientiousness, if I was like at 89th, 90th percentile in conscientiousness, I mean spontaneity, adventure, like no, no, those are maybe if I plan it according to my schedule three weeks from now and I have itinerary, yeah, but nah, for me, I don't I mean. There's a couple of days in the week I'll just like. I feel like going to the park and I feel like going to the mall today and that'll be my whole day and I'll come home and watch a movie. I didn't do any work that day, right? But again, it's my own sense of self, right? Sometimes you want to feel yourself, man. Right? Sometimes you just want to have a good time, right? For me, that's important for my own mental health and psychological well-being. To call each thing by its right name. By its right name. If I were smiling and running into your arms.